Welcome back to PJ Chain Design. Today I would like to show you how to quickly to build the surface for this seahorse and create some line decoration on the body. Are you ready? Let's get started. You can go online and trace any of the outline on the seahorse. Uh, I have one that's already traced that I use for this demonstration. So just click on the description below. There's a link for you to sign up the newsletter and then you can download this curve and practice along with this demonstration. So that's it. You already download it or you already have your, um, your own design. And what we wanted to do is to creating the surface. So I have one curve right here, go all the way to the bottom. I have the other curve right there. Those lines are flat. So we need to create something three dimensional. So I'm going to come in into the perspective. So first one, I want to create somewhere around the face right there. So I'm going to use the art tool on the third one, start and then direction. So click it somewhere about and make sure you're near is on on your old snap and want to go from here to here and want to look at all four views so I can hold in my shift to get a nice arc there. The second one, I wanted to have a big belly there. So I want to go somewhere about here and with the big arc as well. So that will have a big belly. Uh, maybe do a little control over here. So I may want to snap in into this point and this point and again coming back here. So now I have a three uh, cross section right there. So we are going to use the command for sweep to rail. You got rail one, rail two, you got cross section one, two and three. Now what happened if you just click like this, you don't have the head and then you don't have to tell it's because you are telling the rhino say you go from this point to this point to this point i'm sorry this arc to this arc to this arc so we want to tell rhino say hey you want to go from the very beginning to the end this is what you wanted to do sweep to rail and the first you want to choose a rail rail one rail two and you want to come into the command bar right here on the top you got the click on the point so I want to snap in into the endpoint. So make sure your endpoint is on. The second one, you can choose this arc, this arc, this arc. Don't forget to come back to the top. You have a point and we want to click in on the endpoint as well. All right. So now we have something like this. Let's take a look on the top view. Notice that this is some weird folding over there. It's because two of the curve wasn't the same point. So they will have something like that. We can address that by adding the slash. So that's S slash. And I want to edit one. It's over here. One it's over here. Really quickly. You see it's more, a lot more organized. I want one going somewhere by here. So now this is looking much better. Now let's take a look on the bottom. I want to have a one over here. So to address that, the more curve part, you're going to have more twist. So we might need to add a few more over here. So we're close to the end. We'll get something like this, maybe a little bit here. Looking good for me and just make sure there's no folding it over there. All right. So then you click OK. Let's take a look on the render view on our perspective and see if it's looking good for you. All right. If you don't like to have this horizontal bump, you actually will need to fix the outline on your rail. I intentionally do that. So I will have those bump there. OK, so now I have this. I'm going to create some line in between. So I'm going to use the extract ISO curve and we want to extract uh, some if something uh, maybe getting two line there. And if this is not the right direction on yours, you might want to toggle. So when you toggle, you can change the direction. OK, so I do want to have a one roughly over here. 
and the other one roughly over here. So then I have those two lines that I can pipe. Okay. I do not want to pipe it all the way to the faces. I'm going to uh, set a stone there. And by the way, this is also the line that you can flow the stone if you want to design a pave over there. Okay. So I'm going to use the ISO curve. Let's extract ISO curve again. And this time I wanted to toggle and somewhere about maybe here. So from this point for wall, those will be faces. So I don't need the line go all the way. So let's go ahead to trim somewhere here, somewhere here on this curve. So our curve doesn't go all the way there. All right. So let's go ahead to, I'm going to selecting all the curve and mark them into and mark them into the red color so it's easier for you to see what I'm doing there. All right. So now with this, let's take a look on the perspective in the ghost view. Uh, I'm going to pipe this and see how that goes. So let's try the first one. Our pipe is really just the decoration, so it will be really minor. So let's go ahead to pipe it something like 0.2. 2.01 to something really, really small. And you can see you go from a point to an almost like zero over there. Okay. And if you like it, you can use the same number for what I use, like point to maybe point to five and go into point zero one and hit enter. And I'll have that. And like the same way you can, you can pipe it as many as you want to get this cross section. I'm just using two to show you what they look like. Okay. So now we finish the body. We need to work on those fin there. I would like to have a fin with some texture on it as well. So for example, let's go ahead to draw an arc. Huge. This, this is huge. Scale it down. And then I want them to go not as deep, right? Roughly about the similar size. I also wanted to do some, uh, like a bump there. Two way you can do it. You can rebuild and to get a lot more points. So that's a 24 of them. And then some of them, you just want to spontaneously starting pull them down. That's one way you can do it. Something like this, like every other one, you can do something like this. Okay. Uh, another way is you can draw all the shape and then you just trim it. Like, for example, I get a, another arc going like this and then, um, make them not as tall. And then we're going to draw a bunch of a circle. So let's say circle there and to be the same size, I'm just going to copy them going spontaneous, different places. If you want them to be the same size, you want to use array along curve. All right. So now with this, I can trim in a bunch of them like this. So then you will get this uh, on the edge, you will have a more crispy line if you want to. Those edges will be really sharp. And also, if you are setting the stone on it, you might also want to use this way. And then you can join them together. So either way, either profile, that will work. All right. So in this case, I'm looking for something really organic. I'm going to temporarily to hide this one. And so you know what I'm, you can see the line there. All right. So I need this line coming into this location and with the same, it fit exactly in there. So, um, we are going to use the transform and you have an orient to point. What does that mean is I need to them to move it to those two point and it will do the 3D scale at the same time. So I want to snap in into the first reference point is this one. Second is the end point on that one. The target will be this one and coming over here for this one. All right. So then I get something like this. Now, if you split those two, right in the middle, then you can use a sweep to let's give it a try one and two rail and cross section. And we'll get something like this. 
Okay, that's not too bad. And then we are going to bring back the body. So to make them into solid, this one can simply just use the cap command. And one of my um, friends told me that in German, they cannot just type it the command. And the cap command is actually right here. It's called cap plan and hold. So if you want to go by the icon, it's actually this icon here. All right, so now this one, I'm going to hide this one and show you this one. This one, you cannot cap it. It's because we have a two plane that it's open. So the easiest way is you just draw a straight line going from here to here. And then you are going to use the surface command. You got surface from two, three, four curve. You go here and here, those two curves, hit enter. And then going from the bottom, you have the same command. You're going to go one, two, and three. Hit enter. Then you can join them. All right. Let's turn it back for what we have there. Perfect. You can boolean those two if you want to. So the very last one is the eye. I actually would like to have a caption stone on it. So first of all, let me draw an ellipse. And depends on the size you wanted to do, I'm just going to eyeball it for whatever size that fit. And it's going to be something like this. And it's going to be shadowed a little bit by 1D scale, the gumball. All right. And to have this one, we can simply just move it there, rotate it whatsoever. But I actually like to have them to sit on the surface really nice. So I'm going to do is drop a dot there. And that's using the dot to align to the center. So now the dot is actually right in the middle of that stone there. And of course, your stone can be flat or the ball, whatever that's going to be. So to have this one on this surface, we are going to do is to orient on the surface. So this is the object we want to orient. And the base point, I want to snap in into only that point right in the middle. So coming over here on the bottom, on your old snap, you can right click on the point. So everybody will be turned off beside the point. Then I can snap to the point, holding your shift and click on anything outside of that object. Then we want to come in into the perspective to pick up the surface. All right. And then let's click OK. It will be something right here and hit enter. So then it will be nicely to sit it on the top. Right. We're going to use this to uh, creating a seat for this uh, shape over here. I usually like to do it this way. Let's go ahead to copy and paste. So we got two of them there. And one of them, I want to make them over or adjust a little bit bigger. And we want to pull in difference this one out of that bigger one I just scale. So we have this sitting in there. But if you look at the render view, everything is nice and rounded beside the eye. It looks like it's something is sinking into it, right? And But it's not as pretty. So we want to give it a small fillet, something really small. Let's try point 0.2 there. So it will look like it is a little bit nicer to fit into the rest of it, something like this. And the render will look nicer too. Oh, by the way, I need to have a pipe here. So I'm going to pick up this curve and we're going to pipe it 0.3 to feel like it is stopping there. Otherwise, all the curve coming here doesn't look as pretty. All right, so you can keep adding up the decoration if you want to extract the ISO curve to get it more curve for piping or sweep. I hope you enjoy the video. If, if you like this video or organic shape, I have a playlist for completely organic and also a new way to build something similar with the sub D. Leave a comment. Let me know if you like it. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next.